What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. So today is the day karon lagi dang adlaw na magvaccine na may for COVID-19. There is a double the oral. It's actually just 5 a.m. and I just woken up. I know it's a bit early, but I'm gonna be working at 7 a.m. It's just befitting na mumatajud ko ganing orasa. I like working out first thing in the morning so that I could just get it off my day. I also did a bit of research last night on the things that I should do before vaccination so that the vaccine would, would take effect better. What I read there is that I should have enough sleep and also work out. Exercise and sleep is gonna help your body strengthen your immunity more. And that is very important when you're trying to ward off any diseases or trying to recover from a vaccination. So that is what we're gonna do and that is what we have been doing and we're gonna keep it up. Come on, I'm just gonna make my bed so I can start working out. Okay, that's done. Let's go work out. So I just finished the, um, the workout. Now let's get ready to go to work because it's 5.52 a.m. and I have to be there at 7 a.m. Okay, it is 6.50 and I have to go have 10 minutes before I leave. That's locked. Now let's go. Oh, it's actually drizzling a little bit. Okay. Don't judge me if my mask is down because we're not at all. No one's around to give me COVID or whatever. Good morning. <laughs> I'm still kind of shy in my vlog. <laughs> OMG. Hello. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be here. Good guy. Ito na lang sa kagamay akong space para masulad ako. Okay. Ito ko lang siguro ta. Ayan. Okay. I'm going to go to the vaccine. Go, go, go! 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 Go, Health education, vaccine administration, and then observation. It's my turn, now, guys. No, I already have food for seafood. I had that baby piece of food. I don't know if I have to buy it. I'm 
Okay, so what's up guys? How are you doing? It is now the next day after getting the vaccine. So initial thoughts, it wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. Last year, I had flu vaccine and I also got anti-rabies, anti-tetanus, and all of those shots really hurt. Like the next day, I would feel pressure on my arm. So COVID-19 vaccine, specifically Sinovac, I don't feel anything at all. The Puncture site, as you can see right here, I can still see, but it's it's not inflamed. And I think it also has to do with the technique of the nurse who administered the vaccine. So, uh, ma'am nurse, thank you so much kasi ang gaan ng kamay mo. To think that the, the gauge of the needle that they used was gauge 23. If you're not familiar with bore size ng needles, 23 is what we usually use to draw blood from our patient, so for blood extraction. So, it's malaki siya. Anyways, first thoughts, hindi siya masakit. It's not painful. I've seen a few reports online saying that, you know, the puncture site was swelling, it felt warm, and you know, all that jazz. But no, I did not feel that. It's, um, it's totally fine. My arm doesn't well, malaki siya, pero it's, uh, it's normally malaki. Um, no, it, it doesn't hurt at all. I also would like to commend Davao de Oro Provincial Hospital Montalista because the vaccination process was very smooth. Everything was really organized. We were not cramped in an area. It was open, except for the actual vaccination room. It was closed. My aircon shock because, of course, the vaccine has to be maintained in a particular temperature, so it's okay. They had doctors every step of the way, so registration, screenings, interview, they, all, they really had doctors. And then 30 minutes after the vaccination, they kept us in this like holding area where they monitored our blood pressure for like every 15 minutes. We were there for like 30 minutes post-vaccination and then we were given a, a go signal by another physician na pwede na kaming bumalik sa work namin or sa post namin. And what else did I feel? Uh, a few hours, maybe like a couple hours, two hours, maybe an hour and a half after getting the shot, I felt really hungry. Like, gutom na gutom ako. So, after lunch, I usually don't snack. But yesterday, it was like a whole different ball game. It was raining outside, but I really went out anyways just to grab food. And then it wasn't only me. I asked my colleagues when I was there. She also asked me to buy her stuff because she was also starving. And then Barry from the radiology department was also, you know, he was really hungry too. He was starving. I'm not sure, but maybe that's part of the side effect of the vaccine. It makes you hungry, but I don't think that's a bad, I don't think that's a bad side effect. I don't think the, the vaccine has settled long enough in my body for me to actually tell you the totality of the vaccine. Less than 24 hours since I was vaccinated and I 
feel fine. Huwag na tayo maarte, guys. Whatever ang available na vaccine, just, just get it. Be part of the solution and not a part of the problem. The sooner that we get herd immunity, then the sooner we'll get out of this rut. I would say it's a rut. There's so many people who are unemployed. A lot of people have been separated from their loved ones. And it's all because of the pandemic, of COVID-19. They said Sinovac, Sinovac, oh, Chinese, whatever, ganun. It, it doesn't matter because some protection is still better than not, nothing at all, you know? So get vaccinated, be protected. And if ever, malas ka talaga na even if you're already vaccinated, you still get COVID-19, then you're not gonna get moderate to severe symptoms. Most probably, you'll just get sipon, which, which are the mild symptoms. So, di ba? Pili ka. Do you wanna get like respiratory distress or do you wanna just have like a common sipon you know just balance it out so i am going to still document my second dose which is going to be 28 days from now but for now i am 100 percent okay i feel good i had a good sleep i woke up okay and i'm i'm happy and i'm blessed to get my first dose so I'm encouraging everyone to please, please think about it. Do your research. Do your research, guys, about this. And when I say research, wag yung mga, you know, whatever blogs, you know, read medical journals. Make sure that this, this source that you're reading is credible, like CDC, World Health Organization, you know, or from the vaccine manufacturer themselves. Get your information from them. Don't get it from, you know, readmycrap.com. Make sure that it's a credible source and then decide. Do you want to be part of the solution or do you want to be part of the problem? It's just that. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope I helped you be enlightened and make a decision if you want to get vaccinated or not. And hopefully it's, you know, it's the positive. You get vaccinated. And if you don't want to miss second part of this two-part series, because I'm going to be documenting my second dose, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm going to upload. Also, if uh, this video was helpful at all, then leave me a like or comment. And yeah, comment there if you have any questions. I'd be glad to answer them for you. And I hope that everyone would be responsible for themselves and for others. Be vaccinated, guys. Vaccines save lives. Yan lang. See you on the next video.